Merry Christmas to you and your family this holiday season. Thanks for listening to CFC's daily Christmas podcast. We hope that this podcast, from the staff of CFC, encourages you and inspires you this holiday season. We would love to invite you to join us on December 23rd at 10 a.m. for Acoustic Christmas and December 24th at 4 or 6 p.m. for Christmas Eve. For more information, visit our website, www.cfcwired.org. When I was a child living in Nebraska, on Christmas Eve, my parents would bundle my two sisters, brother, and me up in our winter coats and load us into our yellow station wagon. We would head over to my great aunt Bonnie and great uncle Robbie's house together with other family members to celebrate Christmas together. I remember all those delicious German cookies available only at Christmas and the tables loaded with food. The grown-ups would spend time chatting while the kids played games, but all the while we would keep our ears open to hear the bells of Santa's reindeer. As kids, We were filled with excitement to know that those bells meant Santa would be making an appearance and gifts would not be far behind. It was always about one hour before we were due to leave that we would hear those bells and Santa would make his appearance. On one particular Christmas Eve night, I was about 10 years old, after the family party had ended, as we were driving home in the yellow station wagon, I looked out the window and saw the night sky filled with stars and the full moon shining bright on snow-covered lawns. Everything seemed to be at peace, yet so alive. I remember a sense of great joy coming over me and told myself that I would never forget that moment or that feeling. It was probably the first time I had really thought about God and his creation and the birth of his son, Jesus. It seemed as if God was making himself known to me for the first time in my life. I felt God touching me and opening my heart as I drove home with my siblings and parents. I've experienced more of those great joy moments since sitting in that car at the age of 10. I cherish each time God shows himself to me and touches my heart. The Bible is full of great joy moments. The Magi from the East experienced it. In Matthew 2.10, it says, And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. Angels announced it to the shepherds in Luke 2.9-10. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be for all the people. When have you experienced a great joy moment in your life? What does it look like? Take time this Christmas season to be still, be at peace, and ask God to bring you a great joy moment. There is no substitution for a God-given great joy moment. This has been a podcast devotion of CFC. Please join us on December 23rd and 24th, and Merry Christmas.